So let's start. First, we're gonna talk about inverse operations. Inverse operations means, means um, for example, the inverse operation of subtraction is addition, you know, right? Yes. And the inverse operation of multiplication is division. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's it. Also, we're gonna talk about the triangle sum theorem. The sum theorem in a triangle state that the sum of all angles in a triangle is equal to 180 degree, right? The sum of, yes. of these three angles is equal to 180 degree. Yes. Okay. And if you have any question, please let me know. Mm -hmm. Also, we have angle pair relationships. Adjacent angles like this, angle one and angle two are adjacent angles. They, they share a common side. This is the common side. Mm -hmm. Vertical angles, for example, angle one and, and, and two are vertical angles. They are congruent, congruent, which means equal in size. For example, one equal to nine to 70 degree. So two is uh, also 70 degree. Okay. So vertical angles are angles that are, that are opposite to each other when two lines cross or intersect. intersect. Complementary angles, uh, angle one and two, yani two angles are complementary. They have a sum of 90 degree. You should memorize this note. Why supplementary yes. angles? For supplementary angles, two angles, the sum of two angles should be equal to 180 degree. Okay. Mm -hmm. Types of angles. We have acute, right, obtuse, straight. Acute angle is the angle that is less than 90 degree. While right, it's equal to 90 degree. And obtuse angle greater than 90 degree. Straight angle is equal, is the angle that's equal to 180 degree. Okay. Is it okay. Yes, I will just write it down. Uh, if you want, I'm gonna send it to you, all the notes, at the end of the session. Okay. Okay. Names of angles. As we said, acute, the angle that is less than 90, for example, this is equal to 35, so it's acute. This angle is equal to 90 degree, which is right angle. And this one is equal to 150 degree, it's obtuse. BCD is a straight, have a straight angle, which is equal to 180 degree, straight angle. Pythagorean theorem, you know this one? Yes. Works on right triangle only. Mm -hmm. So the shorter, the two shorter sides, we name them leg, leg, these two yes. short sides. While the long side that face the 90 degree, we call it hypotenuse. Okay. Mm -hmm. yes. Now we'll talk about interior angles and exterior angles. Exterior angles, you know, angles between any of the sides of a triangle extending outside. For example, this E, this gray uh, space, or this one is the exterior, while this one, not exterior angle, it's vertically opposite angle. It's the opposite of I. For example, if this is 20 degree, this is also 20 degree. Vertically opposite angle. And these are vertically opposite angle, right? Right. Okay. Interior angles, these are the interior angles inside the uh, triangle. While these, the gray ones, are the exterior angles, okay? Okay. Great. Okay, here we talk about the solution. If you see this graph, uh, two intersecting lines, it intersect at one point. So it has one solution, which is one point. Is it clear? Yes, so okay. consistent has one point. Okay, yeah, I, I studied this one. Okay, uh, these two lines are parallel, to the, there's no solution. While the third one, these two lines overlap, so there's infinite number of solutions, simply. Okay, this is the same one, uh, intersecting one solution, no solutions, uh, no solution, and this uh, many solutions, infinitely many solutions. Okay, great. Look here, if you solve this expression uh, or this equation, 
you see here x equal to 30, which means x equal to a number, it's a one answer, which means one solution. If x equal to a number, it's one solution. And when we solve another equation, and we see that, for example, seven uh, different from zero, which means no solution. Okay. okay. Uh, third case, also when we solve it, we see 18 equal 18. Same. Infinitely many solutions. Which means this graph, infinitely many solutions. And this one, this equation, no solution, we can relate it to this graph. Two lines are parallel. Got it? Yes. And this one, one solution, which means in the graph, two lines intersecting at one point. Okay. Do you have any question? Oh, no. Is it clear? Yes, I think it's good. Okay. We talk about transformation. Wait. You know, a change in size, shape, orientation, or position of an object is called transformation. Mm -hmm. Translation means slide. This is the object and this is the image. While reflection, it's like the mirror. Reflect. Rotation. You rotate this object, rotate around a point. Okay. This is another example, translation. This is the object you need to translate. While this is a reflection. And this is a type of dilation, enlargement or reduction. This is the object and this is the image. So, so we enlarge the uh, image. And this is rotation. We rotate this triangle. Okay. Look at this example. This is a reflection also for this triangle. It's like a mirror. Why this is a rotation? You rotate this triangle. And this one is enlargement. The triangle gets bigger, bigger. And this is a translation. <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna ask you questions. Okay. Okay. Okay, let's start. Uh, the inverse of operation of, subtra of subtraction is called? The inverse of addition. Right, and the inverse of operation of multiplication is? Division. Right. Uh, the sum of theorem in a triangle states that the sum of all angles in a triangle is equal to 90 or 180 degree. 180. Correct. Um, uh, the two angles whose measure are, uh, add to 180 degree is supplementary or co uh, complementary? To what? Two angles whose measure add to 180 degrees. Complementary? No, complementary, whose measure at to 90 degree. You should memorize this note, okay? Okay. Wait. Oh. Yes. Oh, okay, okay. Okay. It's okay, I get it now. Okay. Another question. An angle which is less than 90 degree. Is it obtuse or acute? Uh, acute. Okay. A greater than 90 degree. Obtuse. Equal 90 degree. Right angle. Okay, right. Equal 180 degree. Supplementary. No, I mean uh, one uh, an angle. One angle is equal to 180 degree. Is one it... angle equal? Yes. Not two angles. One uh -huh. angle. Is it uh, straight or acute? Oh, straight. Yes. And if two angles... The sum of two angles equal to 90 degrees is complementary or supplementary? One angle equal to 90 degrees? Yes. Complementary. Correct. Great. Okay. Uh, the two shorter sides of a right triangle are called hypotenuse or legs? Uh, legs. Right. And uh, the side that face 90 degrees, is it hypotenuse or angles? 
the uh, that faces 90 degrees. Yes. Hypotenuse. Correct. Great. And the Pythagore Pythagorean theorem works on isosceles triangle or right triangle. Pythagorean theorem. Yes. Uh, so which is the question again? The Pythagorean theorem works on a right or equilateral triangle. Right. Correct. It works only on right triangle. Yes. Angles between any of the sides of a triangle extending outside are called exterior or interior angles. Angles that are outside? Y yes, extending outside. Oh, um, exterior. Correct. Okay. A system of two intersecting lines will have one solution or no solution. Intersecting lines will have one solution. Correct. And if there's two identical overlapping lines, we'll have two solutions or infinitely many solutions. Huh? Two identical overlapping lines. No solution. No. Uh, can I see the image for the yes. two identical? Yes, this one. These two lines, the blue and the red, two lines, are overlapping. Okay, this one infinite. Right. And this is no solution. The two lines are parallel. Oh, this is parallel. Okay. Yes. Okay, another one. A function that describes a change in the position, size, or shape of a figure. Is it transformation or translation? But uh, changes in size? Yes. Size, shape, or position. Right, transformation. Okay. Is a function that slides a figure along a straight line. Slides. Translation. Right, Translation. correct. Another one. A transformation that flips a figure across a line. Is it reflection? Reflection. Yeah. Okay, great. Mm. Include both enlargements and reductions. Both enlargement and reductions. Is it rotation or dilation? No. Dilation. Yes, dilation. Correct. Okay, wait a minute. Yes, this one and this one. Okay. I'm going to tell you about the scale factor. Is the ratio of a length of the image to the corresponding length of uh, on the original figure. You can see here, scale factor, for example, BC over FE, which means 3 over 6. So that's the ratio, which means a number, number of the image to the corresponding length is the ratio of a length of an image to the corresponding length of the original figure. This is the original figure, and this is the image. So oh, okay. the length, 3, divided by 6. So this is the scale factor. Okay, great. Also, we have this oh. one. What, what do we mean by Y intercept? It's the intersection of a line and Y axis at one point. It's the Y intercept. A line that passes through parallel lines is called? A line that passes through a parallel line? Yes, through parallel line is called perpendicular line or transversal line. Transver transversal line. Um, this is a line and this is a second line. Second line. Oops. This is a transversal line. The red one is transversal line. It's a line that passes through parallel lines. Yes? <laughs> okay, great. So these questions, we answered them. Okay. Is everything clear? Yes. Great. Now we'll start module seven. At how many hours of service do the repair service cost at the, uh, the same? Choose the equation you could solve to find out. Computer repair service, ABC tech, cost $75 service charge plus $50 an hour. X squad, $25 service charge plus $70 an hour. So, now, so here we should, the hours, it's a, yes. It's, it's a C. Right. 
since x is by hours. So it's c, yes. 75 plus 50 x. And the one without x is the service charge? Can you repeat, please? This one without the, without the x, it's the service charge. That's why it's correct. It's correct. Yes, the c. Since 75 plus 50 dollars an hour, which is x, x is the hour. 25 plus 70 x, 70, 17 dollars an hour. What is the first step to solve this equation? Can you tell me? What is the first step to solve this equation? You have this equation. To subtract 11 from both because you need to remove the 11 first. Right, correct. This is the first step. We should uh, subtract 11. Number three, two groups are hiking at about the same speed. Mars group hikes for 2.5 hours. Seema's group hikes for 4.7 hours and converse 8.8 .8 more miles. So, yes, then. 4.7 minus 2.5. Correct. X equal. Equal 2.5 minus 2.5. 8.8. .8. After that, we should subtract 4.7x minus 2.5x. 4.7x to 2.2x. Yes? Control mm -hmm. 8.8. What we will do next? We will divide 8.8 .8 by 2.2. Correct. Great. 8.8 .8 divided 2.2. It's equal, x equal to 4. Clear? Yes. Great. I'll give you some exercises to solve them later. Is it okay? Mm -hmm. Perfect. Okay. Solve for the unknown the following equations. That's the same. Let's start. What we should do first? Wait. We remove that. We have to remove the three. Right. So it's seven x minus three x. Right. Mm -hmm. Well, two twenty four. Seven x minus three x. It's four x. Equal twenty four. X equal. Ali, can you answer? Yes. Uh, uh, x equals 6. Great. Perfect. Now this one. Then x. Then what? Mx. Mx. Uh, what x plus 9? Yes, 10x plus 9 equal to 4x minus 9. We should, we should calculate the value of x or solve x. Yes. I'll tell you. Okay, so uh, left side, we want the numbers with x, and the right side, the numbers without x. Okay. So I don't. So I'm so, but 4 has to be negative when I move right. Right. We change the sign. So 4, uh, 10x minus 4. Yes. Equal. What about this 9? We need to, we we need need to remove, remove it. Yes. So it's going to be. It's going to be minus nine. Minus nine. And this is minus nine. Ten X minus four X, it's six X. Minus nine. Minus nine, it's minus 18. So x equal minus 18 over 6, x equal minus 3. Okay, great. This one is for you. I solve it here. Let's start. 75 plus 50x equal to 25 plus 70x. Okay, we have to swap. So, we have to. Switch uh, 25 to 
have to switch replace of 50 words. Yes, yes, you got it. So 75 minus 25, we change its sign. 70x minus 50x. 75 minus 25, 50. Equal. 70x minus 50x, 20x. x equal 50 over 20. The coefficient that sticks to x always should be divided. So it's 50 divided 20. So x equal 2.5. Here? Yes. Great.